All right, so I really want to quickly talk updates. So part two of this update was to bring it out here into the shed. And basically to have it out in the shed, I need to do a few things uh, in preparation. The first thing was insulate the roof, okay? This was getting smoking hot during the day. Even 25, 30 degrees would just radiate heaps of heat. So I had to try and minimize that. And to do that, we just used some of these um, foam panels uh, up on the roof and that seemed to have worked a treat so that's pretty good also if you can't quite see it chucked in a solar vent there so hopefully that'll suck out a bit of the hot air and that surprisingly works pretty good for a 200 mil um, uh, solar fan all right it is a bit small but we'll do some more to rectify that later i've got the bnr cabinet out in the shed i've got all the cells out here all tested ready to go and I've got a bit of the safety gear um, out here as well. I've also gone through the shed and removed anything that is flammable or um, could potentially go go um, um, off if uh, if there was a bit of a fire. Um, but we'll talk more about that shortly. All right, so I've got all the cells down here. Um, one through to 11 on the bench, tw uh, 12, 13, 14 are uh, out inside, just finishing them off. All right, this is where all the magic's gonna happen. Hopefully you can see it. All right, we've got a bit of uh, structural ply here. We've got our BNR cabinet to house our batteries here. All right, I'm gonna remove the, all this gear down here is gonna disappear and we're gonna mount three uh, lengths of C-channel, mount the inverter up here and then all the other gear um, use this room here. All right, so that's where the magic's gonna happen. All right, we've got our cells down here, a couple of SLAs and our trip shunt and some fuses. Okay, so we've got most of the equipment we need. Battery is sitting inside, so the BMS is inside. Uh, let's have a look inside the BNR cabinet. All right, now I'm pretty confident that we can fit um, the 14S100P uh, up here and then future, um, into the future there, we'll get some more batteries and we'll do another bank down the bottom. Uh, I've got some of that 35 square mil cable here for the battery links. So I've only got three meters, so I might need to order some more. Uh, I've also got all our uh, cells here, which uh, didn't quite cut the mustard. All right, so I'll look to get rid of those soon. There's a fair few um, in here. What do we got? A few more boxes of batteries if I need them. Okay, so why the SLAs? Okay, so basically we've got two options. We can either, my trip shunt over here requires 24 volt to activate 24 volt power supply. Now, obviously our 14S is 48 volt and I could, and I've uh, been told a few times that just grab um, grab the 48 from each end, okay? Use a resistor, bring it down to 24 and um, activate the trip shunt via battery and using 24 volt that way. However, I have decided that I'm gonna go down the path of using a separate power supply. So my power supply, two 12 volt SLAs, all right, 20, they'll give us 20 out 24 volt, mount them down in a, one of these cabinets, and we'll give it a nice little trickle charger um, off a solar panel. So we'll just trickle charge those, have the battery powered off here, have the trip shunt or the trip powered off there, and we'll separate that from the main cabinet. All right, that, that way, if we get any failures over here on this side, all right, these cabinets mounted down under here with the SLAs will be good to go. All right, so in a nutshell, all right, we've got our shed, we've got our insulation in. Sorry for the temporary lighting. Okay, I will get rid of all this crap down here, free up some space. We'll get some nice airflow happening through there. Got our batteries here. I still need to do the bus bars, so we're getting there and get them all mounted up. All right, so that is it, and I'll chat to you soon.